welcome to Antique and Garden Showcase on this very special day. This is the two-year anniversary of the channel. And to mark the two-year anniversary, I'm going to reintroduce the channel to those of you who are already here and to those of you who are new. So if you are new to Antique and Garden Showcase, welcome. Glad to have you as part of the community. This was born two years in this very room, right after I became an appraiser. We're an antique community. We're a garden community. And we share both of those things that we really like for things around the home. So come with me today as we're going to take a look uh, first at some gardening things that we do on Antique and Garden Showcase. <music> areas that I have built that we focus on and that's the hillside garden and the driveway island, the formal garden, and the kitchen garden. Those are the four main areas. So you'll see a lot of things uh, dealing with uh, uh, planters and containers on here as well. Uh, I like to use different sizes, different styles, different heights, and uh, I'll have pictures of those up here on the screen as well as part of the introduction. Now let's take a look at a few of the success stories and beautiful blooms that we've had here at Antique and Garden Showcase over the past two years. Mark in Richmond, Kentucky, zone 6B. Oh, is that a Chinook Caladium? Oh, it's a Tickle Me Pink. It looks a lot like Chinook, which is my favorite. This one I would use interchangeably with it. They have kind of that salmon-y pink interior with the green margins, a little bit of cream in there. Dichondra Silver Falls, that is absolutely gorgeous. This is another one that I would do in kind of a part sun, part shade kind of situation. Absolutely beautiful, bi-weekly fertilizer. Um, and the notes Mark left was, I'm a relatively new YouTuber with a channel called Antique and Garden Sh Showcase. Antique and Garden Showcase. My goal has been to acquire antique containers for my garden, work those into my landscape, and come up with a different with different combinations for spectacular displays. I am in Kentucky, which is similar to your climate, with the exception of humidity and lots of it. Sometimes torrential rain, which is often oftentimes followed by a period of drought, and we get some nasty windstorms too. Last year, I set up all of my vintage antique containers on drip for the first time. It was a game changer. Absolutely gorgeous, Mark, and I'm excited to check out your channel. How portion of this channel takes me on different adventures and road trips looking for items to resell in my recently opened booth at the Chestnut Street Mini Mall in Berea, Kentucky. Uh, Berea, Kentucky is the arts and crafts capital of Kentucky and they have lots of vintage and collectible shops and it's a great place to get out and just walk and go shop to shop and try to find all the neat things that you can find in a, in a small town location. Um, great place to visit, nice day trip, nice place to stay for, uh, for a weekend. Uh, definitely put it on your bucket list. But Chestnut Street Mini Mall, I'm booth 42, Antique and Garden Showcase, inside the Chestnut Street Mini Mall. And here's a little bit about that. <music> channel glad to have you here some things that you need to know typically i post videos on wednesday mornings and saturday mornings 7 a.m eastern time if for some reason i have to miss one of those days it is posted in the community tab on the antique and garden showcase page and also for the new people who are here on antique and garden showcase the videos are arranged in playlists right now for the 2022 season you can go through there and see what i've done kind of by topic um, in the uh, titles. 
Uh, anything before 2022 is kind of lumped into one other page on there. So I'm going to go by seasons. So once we click into 2023, we'll have a whole new season started in January. So feel free to go back and look through those. This is the new introduction for Antique and Garden Showcase. So there is no old introduction left. And we are so glad to have you here. Be sure that you like the page and we'd love to have you as a subscriber to antique and garden showcase hit the bell so you know when we are coming out with more content and look forward to seeing you back many times on the antique and garden showcase i'm mark and i'll see you in the next one bye